everyone and welcome to the third part series of strabismus exercises. So what I wanted to show you is what you can use at home with everyday objects. Because my second video kind of shows you some exercises if you have purchased some items um, either from your vision therapy place or that you got on your own. But you can also do exercises yourself using things from your house. So what you can do is take a paper towel roll and you can cut it in half or you can take toilet paper rolls, two of them. And what you're going to do is put one on each eye like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out pretty far. You're gonna look through both individually and then you're gonna move them closer in until it becomes one. So the, what it should look like is you have two circles, separate circles, and you're gonna bring them together and then you should see it meld together like this so that then at the end you have one tunnel. Now, if your eyes aren't working properly, when I first did this exercise, what would happen is I'd have two and then as they got closer together, one would drop off and it just become one circle right away instead of seeing, seeing the transition happen. So what you want when you put this on both eyes is you want to see both circles melding into each other, kind of like a Venn diagram, before it gets to one. So this is a really good exercise to try. The other thing you can do is take a piece of paper and print off some letters. And what you're gonna do, I highlighted so you could see it better, but you could just take a pen and circle. And what you're gonna do is kind of circle random places and then you're gonna take your eye patch, you're gonna patch one eye, you're gonna grab a timer, and basically what you're gonna do, this works on visual tracking. So you're gonna try and hit each letter as fast as you can. So this has to do with reading, and what happens with strabismus is that you have both eyes reading, but they're not reading at the same time. So you are getting the same word twice inside your brain. So what you wanna do with this exercise is supposed to help bring tracking at the same speed with both eyes. So you should notice that one eye is much slower after you time the exercise than another eye. So the slower eye is your lazier eye um, and the faster eye is your stronger eye. So what you're gonna do again is you're gonna time yourself down the page and see how long it takes you to read each of these letters that you have circled or highlighted. Record your time, then you'll switch your eye patch to your other eye and you're gonna do the same thing. And then you're gonna work your way up to making your eyes even with the amount of time it takes to read the entire page. So again, really good for visual tracking. And then another thing you can do with visual tracking is you could take some clear piece of paper and put it over something and you can mark every third word or every fifth word. And what you would do is just take a dry erase marker and mark off certain ones. Or what you can do is you could do the alphabet. You could do, you could find the A, the B, the C, the D, and keep going. Again, this has to do with tracking. You can put the eye patch on for one eye, see how quickly you can do it, time yourself, switch the eye patch to the other eye, and do the same thing. Okay. Then you could take a string, if you have some sort of string at home, and some sort of beads or something you can put on the string, like so. Okay, thread it on the string, and now you have the bead exercise. This is a really difficult exercise. It took me about two years to master, but what you're gonna do is hold the end of the string at your nose, and then you're gonna look at the first object or bead that you have and you're gonna try and move your eyes together so that you see two strings going into this purple bead, okay? 
Then what you're gonna do is move to the second bead and you're gonna look at that. And what you should see is two purple beads, two strings going into the green, okay? And sometimes if you need to kind of wake up the other eye, you can blink several times, you can try and move the string. Sometimes that helps wake up both sides. And then once you master that, you would move on to the blue and you just keep working your way out. So this is really good for convergence and using two eyes to try to get that depth perception. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments about some other exercises you could maybe do at home, I would love to hear from you. Or if you just have questions about strabismus and exercises and how long it took me to do all of this stuff to learn how to see in 3D or um, anything else, I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a great day.